Hi everyone, this is Cyrus from iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm going to review a very cool app that came out about 20 days ago. And it, it is developed for people who the, the for people who want to see events in the sky, but at the same time we want to use their telescope. There are a lot of us tend to read the news and we're satisfied when we see the photos on Facebook, Google Plus and things like sites like that. And we're satisfied with that. But if you want to use your telescope and actually see it, for example, upcoming media shower or something like that, you need to have a you need to have a place, you have a sky that has less light pollution so you can actually see things. For instance, where I live, I pretty much can't see anything because of the way it is in the major city and it's really tough to actually find a great place to sort of sit down with a telescope and and explore the skies. So Dark Sky Finder Finder by James Skidmore. It's it's a pretty awesome application. It's a very unique idea that actually helps you find a place to use your telescope. So let's see how it works. So not surprisingly, what's what it's it wants to use my current location. Why not? Let's see. So as you can see, see it, it this app shows you a map with light pollution so you can actually figure out what's going on and which areas you can go to 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 get a sky that works for you. It shows you darkest skies in 100 locations around the country the user reviews are also included so you're just not going by what but you see so you can actually get feedback from other people who've used the app and um, find a place that works and has everything you need for instance if you have camping needs there are better information that you need to find out this this comes uh, this comes pretty handy and if, if if you know a place for instance that it's not included here and you think it should be included I mean that you can you can just add the site here so when I see when I show the light pollution that's that's what you get get a map you have the scale here from low to high what's going on here obviously my place is pretty high maybe in New York if you're in Philadelphia or you know all the major cities most of them have you know, high level but now you can you can interact with the app to see let's let's see let's find a pretty dark place let's say you live in California see this is this is pretty neat you can actually find great places to to do some stargazing Now you can you can change the map 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 type. You have three types of maps available. I personally prefer the satellite version because it's easier to see. But then you have the hybrid version, which actually shows you places, the name of the cities, areas on the map, so you can make sense of it. You can also show you the normal map, which was the the standard one. Now this is not where I am, but I'm just I'm just trying to see, for instance. What would it be like to view the sky from a place in California? Now, now when I enable the dark sites, it actually shows you the details for each, for each one of them. For instance, Black Rock City, there are places, it, it, it shows you the date that it was added, shows you the details, if there are any fees, parking issues, there are any URLs that you need to know about there is no review that's that's the one issue that I have with the app is right now there may not be enough reviews in it to and or even th third party you know user generated content to make it better but as more people actually use it and add their own content uh, as these guys get better uh, this this app has a lot of potential for people who love just exploring the sky with your telescope and they're serious about it. They have a, they have an expensive telescope, so we're talking about expensive something that you know you can actually see things, but it not 
the cheap ones that you could get from Amazon. So now each of these. So if I go here to New York and to United location, I can add my own review. I can, or I can get my direction. But 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 the app tells you that it doesn't have enough information for this site specifically so so that's that's what you get now this does include the portal scale and so you can actually see the the basic and when I click on it let me, let me open up the map so you can actually see it better there we go so you can actually use each of these to to figure out the light pollution and the state of the sky in, in your location, a specific location. It's pretty interactive. It doesn't cost a whole lot. So what you get is a light pollution map. You get the ability to add your own entries. You get dark sites with background information, directions, telephone number, you name it. If they have if they have information or they've included it, reviews are also available. If you go to any of these places, I, I would recommend reviewing them so you could help other people find out more. And and if you if you, and the email address you, know, you can you can contact James at the Skidmore Skidmore Skidmoreapps.com to figure out if you have a question, if the app is not working right for you, he may be able to answer your question. So this is Dark Sky Finder, and you can find it under the reference section, in the reference section under uh, in the app store, and it's currently going for ninety nine cents. I'm not sure what the the price is once once their limited time introductory sale period is over. So you want to take advantage of this while you can. For more reviews, you can you can always go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com. If you have an app that you want us to review, we'd be glad to. You just have to send us a link of what the app is about, and um, and we'll, we'll review it if if it it meets the quality standard that we want the app that we review. So so there is a quality standard there but you can always send us so send your entries your suggestions to iphone or ipad .com. just go to the contact section and from there you can you can enter it so thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys later